All right, guys. It just turned into a gray, gloomy, late winter day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is now a, uh, it is a Tuesday afternoon. That would be March 14th, 2023, here in the great state of Texas. So, uh, I just did a rant about religion about why I never talk about God on Collapse Chronicles. So now I'm going to do somewhat of a similar rant in many ways. And I've, and I've had some similar rants of this, one, so I won't make it too long. It's a, kind of the same question about why I don't uh, talk about party politics that much on uh, on this channel. Well, politics, and I would say particularly what I would call, you know, party, partisan politics on this. But anyway, this uh, this kind of part two of a of my two-part religion and politics rant, I got asked a question this morning that I have never been asked in my entire life. Never once has anybody, and I've been doing this for 14 years since this young man was two years old, uh, I started doing this, uh, what I do for a living here uh, on YouTube, and never once has anybody asked me this question. Why do you like Trump, meaning, I assume, Donald Trump. Why do you like Donald Trump? I am just curious. Please don't give me a rude, sarcastic answer. <laughs> so anyway, I, I was thinking, where in the, this is from Caden uh, Murphy, who claims to be 16 years old? There seems to be some debate whether this whether this person really is 16, uh, but that's kind of irrelevant, I guess, how old Caden is. But this was in response to that uh, video I that about my buddy Vegematic, and at the very end of that video. You know, I was trying to get people to go over there to subscribe to Vegematic to get him up to 1,000 subscribers, and I really appreciate the, the people stepping up to the plate. So Veg is now over 1,000 subscribers, and I don't know if Caden uh, subscribed or not, but I said, I just cautioned people at that, the end of that video that if you are a Donald Trump supporter, you're probably not going to want to subscribe to the Vegematic channel. That uh, Donald Trump supporters are probably not welcome over at, Ve <coughs> over at Vegematic's channel, but they are very much welcome over here at Collapse Chronicles. That there is no anti- Donald Trump voter rule. Uh, if you voted for Donald Trump and you have any interest in educating yourself uh, about the state of the planet, uh, which might or might not change your allegiance to Donald Trump, you are welcome over here. I do not, who do I exclude? from uh, from Collapse Chronicles. Uh, I mean, all I'm doing here is preaching to the choir. So why would I exclude somebody, the rare person, uh, anybody who voted for Donald Trump and wants to hear anything that I say, which would probably be one one hundredth of one percent of Donald Trump voters. Uh, by all means, come over here. So at Caden, and probably a lot of other people, because I do not exclude people who voted for Donald Trump, that means that I like Donald Trump. 
and this is and and, and 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 this is one of the reasons I don't talk about party politics. You know, that soft white underbelly interview, the biggest blunder I made on that interview was right up front. I made a derogatory comment about people who voted for Donald Trump. I didn't I didn't realize that Mark had that many virulent Donald Trump supporters. And so I made a joke, a throwaway joke about Donald Trump and the first, what, 90 seconds of that 40 minute video, all I accomplished was alienating a, a bunch of people uh, who more than anybody else need to be listening to the message here at Collapse Chronicles. Now, Vegematic uh, would probably say goodbye and good riddance, garbage in, garbage out. I disagree. Vegematic's channel is different than mine. Uh, he can, you know, Vegematic can make Donald Trump supporters feel unwelcome there. Uh, Donald Trump supporters are welcome over here. Uh, Joe Biden supporters are welcome over here. Uh, you know, just uh, like in that soft white underbelly, because because I made a comment, a derogatory comment about uh, Donald Trump and and anyone who would vote for Donald Trump, what that meant, obviously, obviously, what it meant. Because I'm not a, I, I don't like Donald Trump is that I voted for Hillary Clinton, I voted for Joe Biden, uh, I am one of these left wing uh, nutcases. So Sam Mitchell, because he made a a comment, a derogatory comment uh, about Donald Trump, and did not immediately follow it up with an amplification and clarification that the second most despicable human being on the planet is Hillary Clinton. You know, we were talking about the 2016 uh, 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 election. So but it's like if you're not on Team Trump, you're on Team Hillary or Team Joe or whatever. Are you following me? I, I, I have never seen anybody thinking that uh, that Sam Mitchell, for anything that I have ever uttered uh, coming out of my mouth, uh, means on any level that I am a supporter of Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, or any other politician, any other politician uh, on this planet. Obviously, I have had a failure to communicate. The last time I voted for president was 1988 when I voted for Jesse Jackson in the primaries and actually believed that, <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit this, actually believed that Jesse Jackson, A, could win the presidency of the, uh, of the U.S. and B, if he had won, uh, he would have made one uh, bit of difference. Uh, good Lord. And this is the reason why it's very, if you just listen to my rant on religion, it's why I never talk about religion on this channel. All it does is it punches buttons, gets all of these, you know, all of these people fighting, and you know, I use the bugs in a jar analogy uh, that, uh, you know, who cares? But anybody uh, and Caden if you're 16 you need to start learning this right now young man anybody who uh, who runs for political office in this country or anywhere on this planet I would say is a lying sack of shit they are a narcissistic blowhard all right I don't believe one word out of any of their mouths, okay? I find Donald Trump, that I, I was going to start this rant 
with this hilarious takedown of Donald Trump by Professor Sheldon Solomon. I, but, I, but, in, but if I started off with it, uh, people would, you know, I, I, one minute into it, people would have just shut this down. Uh, I will, but anyway, I will close. If you want to stick around, I will close with the best three-minute uh, analysis of Donald Trump I have ever heard. Uh, so I find Donald Trump. This is me personally, and this okay. This is the other thing. Like I said about religion, it makes no difference. Well, two things make no difference. Uh, it makes no difference. What political party, uh, if, if anybody still thinks that there is a political solution to what's going on on this planet, you are so clueless. You take a Donald Trump voter and marry them to a Hillary Clinton voter. Okay? Anybody at this point who thinks their political party is, is going to turn uh, th this freight train around, you are completely deluded. It, it, it means nothing thinking uh, that any politician on this planet, A, understands on any level how doomed we are, and B, if they did understand it, uh, would do anything about it. Get any notion of a political solution to this. So it just, you know, it's just like, I look at people who voted for Donald Trump or voted for Hillary Clinton. What it means to me is, is like if they like licorice. Okay, licorice. I mean, even when I was a little kid, everything about licorice the black licorice. I guess there's a red licorice, which everybody I'm talking about that, that black everything about it I, I I find this guy. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it smells. Uh, it in the, the couple of times I've tasted it, I've almost vomited. I I am completely repulsed by black licorice. It, uh, it offends me on every cell of my body. It is literally vomit inducing. So just imagine if I said, okay, I find licorice to be vomit inducing. So if you like licorice, I have nothing to say to you. Nothing whatsoever. You eat licorice. I don't eat licorice. Anything that you have to say uh, is, uh, you, you, you know, is completely irrelevant to anything. Get out of my life. Never want to speak to you again. And vice versa. These people who do uh, vote to eat licorice find out I don't like licorice. And saying, okay, you don't like licorice. You evil, clueless, Whatever. Uh, it, it, so it, this is what it means to me. This is how important it is to me. I, I, I can no more fathom why any human being on this planet would vote for Donald Trump or Joe Biden or Hillary Clinton or, or Daddy Bush, Baby Bush, uh, anybody uh, as, as they would licorice. Uh, but for whatever reason, they have the same uh, information available to me as, as, as I do. Uh, we, we have the same information out there. Okay, I am looking at, one, at the same information provided, although I don't watch Fox News. So maybe it's not quite the same information that the people who voted for Donald Trump, but I won't get off on a Tucker Carlson rant here as easy as it would be to do. But anyway, but we're, the, the information is available. The same information is available to all of us. And I, and I guess as much as this hurts me to say, if you look at the information out there available, 
especially if, if on any level you call yourself a doomer or even an environmentalist, which also I am not an environmentalist, uh, and, and you think that, uh, and, 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 you, and you look at the information and you think that Donald Trump or Joe Biden is going to make this planet a better place uh, knock yourself out, go pop some licorice in your mouth, and go vote for Donald Trump, go vote for Joe Biden, go vote for Mickey Mouse, whatever. It doesn't make any difference. The planet is going down the toilet. So, uh, but anyway, but this is why uh, I just, uh, it, it's just pointless to, to talk about it, but just this, this thing is Caden, just uh, how people are just so knee-jerk. I mean, it's one thing for a 16-year-old kid just starting out in life, you know, figuring out uh, how to read bullshit. Caden, it's all bullshit, as Vegematic would say. Every goddamn bit of it is bullshit. Do you get it? Uh, but for it's one thing for a 16-year-old to ask the honest question, wanting an honest answer to the mistaken belief that uh, why does Sam Mitchell like Donald Trump? But but you know, for somebody, for college-educated people uh, who have been on the planet for 50, 60 years in, in, anyway. And, and still believe in electoral politics. Uh, it's just, uh, it, it, anyway, it, it, there, there's no point in me uh, picking sides. All sides are losers in this game. There are no political parties on a dead planet. This is going to be my new, as I just said, and uh, there is no religion on a dead planet. I love this. There is no blank on a dead planet. I don't care what else the subject is. If the planet is dead, all of this crap, all of this distraction bullshit, this politics, this religion, these are false narratives created by humans to distract us from what is going on on this planet. Okay, while we're sitting here having all of these little bickering, backbiting fights on a, what book you read, what flag you wave, the planet is dying, the planet is doomed, while we're having these pointless little discussions, and I'm going to wrap it up here, I am here to talk about what's going on on this planet, I don't give a damn if you voted for Donald Trump, Joe Biden, or Mickey Mouse, or like me, the last time you voted for anyone was 1988, uh, when you figured out what a, what a scam this whole uh, thing is, and, uh, and, and want nothing more to do with it. Get that, just don't walk, run from electoral politics and organized religion. But we're gonna let, uh, we're gonna let Professor Sheldon Solomon give the last word on Donald Trump. Oh no, the battery thing is flashing. So uh, I interviewed, I actually have two interviews with this man, Sheldon Solomon, here on Collapse Chronicles. If you do not know Sheldon Solomon, go check out those interviews. But we're going to let Sheldon Solomon tell us all we need to know about Donald Trump. This is the best analysis of Donald Trump I've ever heard. Take it away, Sheldon Solomon. And then they liked him a, a lot more. All right, well, fast forward to 2016. Uh, and, uh, you know, Donald Trump 
uh, comes down the elevator and saying that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to save you. I'm going to save you from uh, the hordes of negrotinous brown people steaming across the southern border uh, uh, where there's terrorists parachuting into Buffalo to steal our chicken wings and rape our daughters. And, uh, and, uh, and I'm, I'm the only one uh, that can keep you safe. Uh, and it, it, it frankly didn't matter to half of the people in America. Uh, they were appalled. Uh, you know, they're like Trump. Uh, is a vulgar, sadistic, vindictive, pathologically narcissistic, sociopathic, racist, xenophobic, homophobic, misogynistic, functionally illiterate, pussy-grabbing, cheese-doodle impersonator. And, and they're like, this fucking guy is, you know, just grotesquely ignorant, shockingly incoherent, uh, and congenitally uh, in, uh, incapable of not lying. So, well... But to another half of America, uh, they not only didn't mind that, uh, they were enthralled by the, this kind of blustery, uh, pseudo-successful business person claiming that he's going to keep us safe by making America great. Well, be that as it may, and again, it, 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 this sounds like a political diatribe, it's because it is, I consider him... Uh, only slightly less dangerous than Hitler because he's lazier and less intelligent than Hitler. But the empirical point is that we did the same thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sheldon Solomon, uh, do go listen to my interviews with that man. But anyway, I think Sheldon Solomon said everything we need to ever know about Donald Trump uh, although I would say Donald Trump uh, is more dangerous than Adolf Hitler at this point in our planet's history. Uh, Donald Trump, uh, he is still one of the most dangerous human beings uh, on the planet and a threat, the biggest threat, single individual human threat to life on planet Earth that I personally have ever uh, encountered in uh, 63 years of living. But anyway, uh, but if you voted for the man, you had your reasons. And just because I agree with every word of Sheldon Solomon there does not mean Donald Trump voters are not welcome to stick around and listen uh to uh, the greatest story never told, and I don't know, I bet Sheldon would have a pretty similar uh, comment about Joe Biden. Just a guess. Anyway, guys, I gotta wrap this up. This battery's ready to collapse, and uh, I see that grill beckoning for some factory farmed pork ribs. So I'm gonna go off and enjoy some factory farmed pork ribs while I still can. Bye, guys.